Hi Audacious, Happy New Year. My name's Julie Shelton and I'm an area pastor for the east of Manchester. Hope you're all well and um, that you had a great Christmas. I know we did. Uh, so I was sat pondering about New Year the other day and I don't know about you, but I'm a natural worrier and I, I sometimes think, oh gosh, what about this? What about that? And I was kind of, I don't know, just a bit worried. My dad's not very well, so I was worried about dad and everything. But a song came into my head and I'm going to sing it. It was from when I was little. Um, but it, re it was really loud in my head and I think, well, God's obviously trying to speak to me here. So I'm going to sing it and it's got actions. So, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do for you and me and you chip eat your heart out there right so yeah i was just thinking wow i need to change my perspective i need to change my whole outlook i need to be more of a prayer warrior this is cheesy but it's true more of a prayer warrior and not a worrier knowing who is on my side remembering that god holds my future I need to be expectant and ready for a miracle, ready for a breakthrough, walking out in boldness, um, knowing that there is nothing he cannot do. So you're going to be seeing me in your mind now singing that song if you're ever, you know, kind of a bit worried or, worried or doubtful. So I was thinking, you know, the Bible's full of miracles and promises about who our God is. And one of my favourite ones is um, in Luke 8 and it's about the disciples who were in the boat and um, a storm came along. Jesus was in the boat with them and a, star a storm came. Even though Jesus was in the boat, the storm still came, but Jesus calmed the storm. So, you know, God doesn't stop things from happening sometimes. Sometimes he does, but he's always with us when, when they do happen. So I'll just tell you about a personal storm that I went through and how God really broke through into, well, it's to do with me and my husband. And um, anyway, so what happened in 1994, we were um, expecting a baby. And when I went for my 20-week scan, they told me that the baby would, has died. And uh, I had to deliver in a, a, her and everything. It was awful. It was a really bad time. But I'm not going to focus on that bit. I'm going to focus on the next bit. So um, I got pregnant again in 1996 and um, when it came to have my 20 week scan they, they told us that there was a one in four chance of the same thing happening. So I was at a prayer meeting and someone prayed for me, well it was, it was Pastor Sophie actually prayed for me and she said I want God to give you um, an, a, a word, a special word just for you. Anyway, while she was praying for me, I had my eyes shut and in my mind I could see, it was like this um, picture on my um, on my friend's sideboard. And I'd seen this picture before and on the picture it said, I have made, I will bear, I will carry, I will deliver. And it's a verse out of the Bible. And at first I thought, oh Julie, you just, you drum that up yourself. You just made it up yourself because you worked up. And you just desperate, aren't you? Well, yes, I was desperate, but I, I, you know, I thought, no, I don't think I have made that up. Anyway, I told my, I told John about it, and um, the morning before we went for the scan, we had post. We had some post. Well, it was at the actual morning, um, and it it was amazing. I can't, <laughs> still gives me goosebumps. And what it was, it was. John's sister Pauline she'd painted this piece of wood and on it it said I have made I will bear I will carry I will deliver not told anybody apart from John about that what had come in my mind so I just knew it was from the Lord anyway so to cut it really really short everything was fine we had Emily and we went on to have uh, three more children after Emily 
and you know all I can say is that I knew that God was with me through the whole time so that was a personal storm so I know you know that God does come through um, and I was looking in the Bible I was looking at Isaiah 40 and it's full of declarations of who our God is and why we can trust him with our lives so I'm just going to read a few bits so the first one is verse 10 and it says see the sovereign lord comes with power and he rules with a mighty arm see his reward is with him and his recompense accompanies him he tends his flock like a shepherd he gathers the lambs in his arms and he carries them close to his heart he gently leads those that have young oh wow he carries me close to his heart that's amazing and then uh, 26, lift up your eyes and look to the heavens who created all of these. He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. So if he could create the world and all the stars, he can do anything, can't he? And this bit here, I love this. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So whatever it is that we face in the new year, we know that we have God on our side and he is with us all the time. And it finally, it, it just reminded me as well of this really uh, lovely poem that I've heard before. And I'm just going to read a little bit of it for you. Um, and it's called The Gate of the Year Poem and it's by Minnie Louise Haskins. And it says, And I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, Give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. He replied, Go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. So audacious church and even if you don't go to audacious god loves you and he is with you and um whatever you're facing in the new year put your hand in his hand and he'll safely guide you and he will bless you um so yeah happy new year god bless everybody take care